Hello and welcome to Round 1 Front 9 coverage of the 2023 Chainsaw Classic. This event is presented by Discs Mania and Down South Discs. Coverage is brought to you by The Great Courses of South Carolina with additional footage by Tommy Patterson. Commentary team today is Ryan Ish Omer and Ryan Mon. First up, we got myself rated 996, sponsored by Down South Discs. Next up, we got William Hanu, rated 993. We got Adam Mon, rated 959, also sponsored by Down South Discs. And Alex Durham, rated 987. Last on the card, Stephen Scoggins, rated 926, as well, sponsored by Down South Discs. Hole 1 is a par 3, 184 feet. There's two lines in this one where the drone's flying the right side. I think the preferred route is the left side with the forehand. It just, I think it fits the hole a little better. I'm throwing a Firebird here, a little bit of Annie. Get a good, good skip. I'm here for my little brother, man. Throwing a little beat in tactic. Thanks. No, that was okay. I think Adam's gonna be throwing a zone here. Yeah, I didn't almost go in. Yeah. Yeah, that should be uh, parked. Yeah, I think most people try to choose that left side gap rather than the right side gap. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just a lot easier of a nice little stall forehand. Alex throwing a mid here, and catches him with the right side trees. See, the people want to see a back hand. They saw him plenty of four First backhand with a Halo Invader by Scoggins. Oh, nice little, yep, little tick on the trees there. Sticks up. Alex with a long bit at hole one. Not really the look you want, but not, not a terrible effort. Is that right at the edge of the circle or a couple in? I think it's probably like around 20. I think that red fence is probably around 20, happen the only three on the card. Uh, <laughs> that would be everybody two, Alex three, and we will move on to hole two. It's a par three, 251 feet. Uh, I think the play is a forehand through this gap, get a good little skip up the hill. Um, I've seen people go back and Heiser flip to turn, but I think the forehand shapes the shot. Yeah, I think with that ceiling, that forehand just makes it such a easier shot to be able to get all the way up there. What are you throwing here? This is a champion firebird. A little less overstable than the firebird I threw on hole one. Got it flat. Has his back and good little nice. skip to about 15 feet. Cool. Looks like Willis chose the forehand as well. Kind of gets a turned over. I believe that was an FD3. I think Adam's throwing his uh, white raptor here. It's a little more on the straight side for a raptor. That's short. Like 15 feet short. Scoggins going with a max. Everybody going with the forehand here, I think. Just yeah. something. Overstable, you know what it's going to do every time. Nothing, even if you miss it a little bit low, you're going to get that skip up the hill. Mm -hmm. It's 
especially most of the guys at least throwing fairway drivers. Yep. Yeah. This got oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think Alex is going FD3 here. <laughs> oh! It's the cage. Yeah, cage is fine. Got a long bit here for Will. Get about 55 feet. Just a little left. You want to hear on the putting green. Now the wind's starting to pick up here a little bit. I'd probably give it like a, maybe maybe 10 miles an hour, but still, it's not something that you're gonna be like, oh, it's really windy, but it's still something that that's gonna come into your mind for sure. Now, I think one of the uh, things about this course in general is the inconsistency of the wind. Right. You know, mm -hmm. one person throws off the tee pad and it's 10 miles an hour, and the next person throws the tee pad and it's nothing. Yep. Well, there's also a good amount of holes that come from the woods into the open. You don't know what the yep. wind's doing in the open. Mm -hmm. a couple of tap ins. Par par stop for Alex is not really what he's looking for. I don't know if he can get it started up here. Uh, it's going to be me. Adam and Scoggins with the two, Alex and Will with the three. Moving on to hole three, it's a par three, 407 feet. Longest hole in the course. I think the play is a nice backhand hyzer out wide. Have it finished to the left. There's some tall stuff on the uh, left you don't want to go in, and there's a creek long that kind of comes into play, but not really. Yeah, I think the, uh, the, the forehand shot would definitely bring in the bush to the left where the backhand wouldn't at all. Throwing an onyx here, just trying to pretty much aim at the uh, next tee pad, get a solid finish at it. And it came out very early. A little early. And it's going to go in that tall stuff on the left where I said it was not a good spot. <laughs> at least you got long legs where you can reach out. Mm -hmm. I think Adam's going to throw a forehand, yeah. He's going to go with the same Raptor. He's just kind of yeah, just going to turf it. Oh, Adam, great job. Big skip, come on. Adam with the self-commentary there. Yep. Doing our job. Scoggins with a Charger, which is a little faster destroyer. Just going to play it wide and have it come back. a little short. Okay. Will going to go Thunderbird to similar to my Onyx play. Just that yeah. nice overstable nine speed, but still has some decent glide. Yeah, both those are definitely going to stall at the very end, so even with a little bit of wind out there. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a headwind on this hole. Boom. Yeah, he's like 20, 20 feet. I watch that just Alex going FD3 here. Looks like it never did stand up. Mm -hmm. A little early left. Probably still near the circle. Blue Banger does not come back left anymore. That's me somewhere in there. <laughs> that was like about a three foot window. Nice. I'll take that every time. <laughs> Scoggins for his birdie. Game. Probably just outside circle. Hmm. Alex for his first birdie of the round. Mm. Just a bit short. Right. 
Good two there for Will. It's always a nice one to get on the course, you know, that one where you actually have to, you know, full pull a you know, fairway or driver. Mm -hmm. It's one of the ones where you got to throw a pretty high percentage of your, of your power with whatever disc you're throwing. These are just a couple cleanups for par after. Yeah. After either some scrambles or some missed putts. Yeah. Nice little tap in. Yeah, good to always make those. These baskets are kind of older. They're not like 1990s, but I think they're early 2000s. Yeah, they definitely got some gaps in the chain assemblies. Mm -hmm. I said all three is will too. Good little struck on the card right there. That's solid. All four is a par three, 255 feet on top of this hill. Uh, Four hundred backhand, whatever one you're more comfortable with. Uh, you want to throw it a little higher than you normally since you're going uphill. Normally all the shots land about right in this area, or they go far past the basket. Yeah, I think if you have the forehand to get there, it's really good to kind of skip towards up the hill. Will is going to go with the envy. Throw it kind of high, but yeah, that'll do. Uphill putt's always nice on that one. About 20, playing like 25 with the uphill. Yeah. Throwing a Malta here. Yep. Nice little overstable mid range. I usually just take my TI wasp out here. That's just a little lower than I wanted, but it gets a good little, good little ground play to about the same spot as well. Yeah. Adam throwing that same Raptor once again. <laughs> a little high. Gives it a little bit of bed and it's just gonna skip up the hill. It's about 25. Be an interesting putt for him back at it. Mm -hmm. I think Scoggins is going with the TL3 here. Um, I know he has an orange sheet out there. I don't know if this is the exact disc, but I think that's what it is. Throw it out wide. It's gonna should get a little fade. Yeah, it's gonna be I under it. Yeah. Nice. Great shot. It's always nice to really park this one. Mm -hmm. Basket gets really windy out here. I think this is either a, a MD3 or I think it's an MD3. Should, yeah, yeah. Straight at it. Very nice. Oh, it's like the scariest part in the hole. Old knee knocker. Here's myself about 20 feet. Yeah, pretty close. Mm. It's at um, oh. probably about 15 feet. <laughs> Seen so many on that hill. That hill just, just go, go all down the way the bottom. down hip, almost back to the tee box. So. I'm probably, probably the same distance as Alec, I mean, as uh, Will. So it's just a little par. But it's surprising one of the, I don't know, I feel like it's one of the easier ones, but also kind of tough with this green. Yeah. It can get pretty windy up here with the rollaway potential and all that. Will, there's birdie, and oh just a little God. short. Putting has been quite lackluster in this card, I'll say that. <laughs> Ooh, oh, snuck man. that one in there. <laughs> it was a little cold in the morning. You get yeah. your fingers they got all the pop, but. Had some spring off the bottom of that basket cage. There's the one short one. Yeah. I think it's going to be Alex here. These are just a few drop ins for the birdie. Yeah. yeah. Stockings is probably closer than that, too. That's nice. Grab the CTP on that one. Yeah, Alex did, I think. Okay. That's going to be me and Will, three, Adam, Alex, and Scoggins with a two. Going to hole five, it's a par three, 273 feet. It's uh, pretty much just dead straight. Water on the 
left, plus his OB, and then some trees on the right where you don't want to go. And then there's this log behind the basket that kind of slows you down. The main plays are like a backhand flip up and a forehand. And I'm throwing a flippy raptor and just early. I think the ceiling on this hole kind of makes you throw a certain shot here. It's a little more finesse to it than just a full pop. Mm -hmm. I think Steven's going with a Cayman. Nice over stable mid. A little high. Yeah. Sneaks through though. Yeah. I've seen some discs sneak through all that and get to like 25 feet. Yeah, it's actually decently open about halfway down and you know, all the way to the green on the right side. This is another FT3 out of Alex. So much more room on the left now that, that tree's gone. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe he's done that tactic, the same tactic as he did in hole one. I'll be throwing the only backhand on the card. I like throwing the backhand with this putter. Uh, it makes me commit to the shot more because there's water on the left. I definitely committed to it. Just yep. a little overturned. It was a bit of a left to right, but... It's probably about 60 feet away. Good little layup. Good bit. Syndrome. Adam, probably about 55. Banger yeah. range, baby. Alex from about 45. Oh. Band once again. Okay. Looks like Scoggins got there a little bit. Like, like the windiest time of the round. I think this one in four were pretty windy. Hey, hey, oh, great putt. Putt. Strong putt. Well, for his two. Mm. That's going to be everybody two on the card except for myself with a three. Beautiful putting on that green. Mm -hmm. right there. Oh, sorry, Alex also is gonna be taking a three. Moving on to hole six, it is 180 foot par three. There's two lines. I think the main line is this left side with the overstable forehand, or you got the right side with the backhand. This one is one of the easier ones in the course for sure. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be left here. It drops down a good bit down to the water. Adam throwing a zone. Uh -oh. Got through. Sneaky, sneaky. Gets a kick, rolls back to the oh, basket. Oh, wow. Had the joystick on that one. Scoggins going Halo Toro, so similar to Adam's own. Yeah. Well, Amy should fight back. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice. He's looking right under it. I mean, it was going well. Like, I'm not going to repeat. It seems like I need to. Is that the tactic again? I believe it is, yeah. I think it was pretty close to the basket. Oh, Alex going a little P2 down the right. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw a forehand A2, just something a little more overstable than his own. So I can really put some ante on it. Yeah, that should be. 
That should be good as well. Like all pretty nice drives. Mm -hmm. I think Scoggins is five through six, which is a very good start. Really good start out here. Yeah. I personally think the, uh, the front nine is a good bit more scoreable than the back nine. Mm -hmm. Everybody fairly close on this one. It's a pretty, pretty simple hole. Yeah, the, the front end is very attackable. I don't think I'm stepping up at the hole and saying I, I'm good with the par on this one. I want to think yeah. I want to birdie every hole. That's right. That's all twos. Good little star nice. frame. Hole seven is a 279 foot par three. Uh, I think the play is a high forehand through this gap you see on the right. And kind of have it stall back to the right, and I feel like the closest putt you normally get is about a 20 footer. Yeah. Um, sometimes the back end to like the right of this first tree on the right works in the winter, but I don't think anybody's gonna be taking that today. And then there is the creek long and left. Adam, ooh, no. we'll catch cam from all. Oh, oh Tom, just catch barely cam. safe. Yeah, I like a, there's like a small set of trees there in the corner of that fence that. Mm -hmm. You can get them right over the top of those trees and just have it stall to the right, right there. Yep. Just like that. That one's gonna be. Oh, just like you said, five. you know, circle. Circle one's prime on this one. Yep. I think Will is going with the Doombird three. Yeah, that one looks good if it gets around. Yeah. That'll do. I did really well. Except Alex also throwing an FD three. Oh. Well, early gets through though. Nicely. I'm throwing a Halo Firebird. It's down there? Yeah, that'd be fine though. Adam in kind of an awkward spot. After his just took a weird reaction off the first tree. And he's gonna elect to do the jump up. It looks like his footing wasn't the best there. This is me probably about, I'll give it 30. And just still have not got the putter going today. And I think that is Alex right next to me. Or it's Will. Oh, it was Alex. I was wrong twice. Oh no, third time in the first seven holes, that's not the sound you want to hear. Scoggins six nice. down through seven, keeping the fire that around going. Solid. Good putt. Adam for his pars. And that's going to be everybody else tapping in their pars as well. I think that's definitely a bonus deuce on this mm -hmm. hole. For sure. That's going to be me and Adam and Alex, all threes, and the rest of the guys, too. Hole 8 is a 143-foot par 3. It's just dead straight up this hill. This is a must-get on this course. Yep. There's really no other danger besides it's just right in front of you. Yeah, I mean, it's just usually a standstill putter for most of you guys. I think Scoggins is going to Vader. Should... With this leaves, you get some good ground play. I think it should be Will up next, and I think he's gonna throw a. I think he's gonna throw an envy, if I remember correctly. There you go. Yeah, I think this is a um, proto envy. Oh, oh, 
Oh, hits Bab's basket, dude. Basket hit. <laughs> Adam is going to be throwing. I think an air hard zone. Probably the only forehand we'll see. It's just, he's much more comfortable with the forehand oh, yeah. than he is the backhand. <laughs> Alex going, good old Greeny. Mm -hmm. Old oh, cheater disc. Old P2. Oh, a good wow. little bid. Yeah. John loved it. Nice. John loved it. I mean, he knew it was old Greeny. He was like, it's got a chance. There's me with the uh, envy. Skip. Just a good little layup for the birdie. Will probably about. 50. Oh, probably 40. With Goggins to keep the, the very hot start going. Oh, mm. no. Missing this one is just not something you would like, would, would want to do. your disc under the leaves when it gets this time of year. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, go. Start changing out colors of your disc in the bag. Yeah. You, you need some bright colors. It's going to be me, Adam, and Alex, two. William and Scoggins, three. Move on to hole nine. It's a par of three, 251 feet. Um, just pretty much dead straight. You got this hill on the left and a little hill on the right. It kind of like all funnels down to the basket right at the end. The one thing you really gotta miss is that big tree, the second big tree on the right. Mm -hmm. that's, one that, that's the one that really comes into play. I think Adam's gonna go with the pig here. A little wide. Should be fine. I think it's gonna get a good little... Yeah, it got a good little roll. It's pretty, it's pretty close. Yeah, that's what happens with over so dis. You hit that left side hill and kind of just roll down it. Alex on with old green. You know what you know what it's gonna do. It's gonna be close to the basket. Yep. Might need a little help off that left hill also. <laughs> Myself, I'm going with the PA1. It's a it's a disc that has very low glide and it's pretty over simple for a putter. Skip down there? Yeah, it's probably, probably about 25, maybe 20. Skyrim's going Halo Invader. Is it flipped up? Yeah. I think it hits the hill and gets a good little funnel down the basket. Filtering down there. And I think Will's going to go with an NV here. The same NV through last hole. This is the same thing he did last well, earlier early release. But at least he filtered down to the We're still middle. Shot, yeah. yeah. That'd be fine. Here's myself, 20 feet. I did filter down. Yank it right. Oh no. This is where everything was just sticking to my hand and I'm sure the nine card back up on the next T pad didn't help anything. Yeah, there's like a three card back up on the next T pad. <laughs> Goggins for a oh, weird footing. Be able to get this one in there. Yep. That's uh, I think that's a uh, seven down through nine for Scoggins. Alex, good putt as well. Will for his par. Nice clean up. And then Adam right there for his birdie. Three for me and Will, two for everybody else on the card. After the front nine, we got myself a four down, Will at five down, Adam at seven, Alex at four, and Scoggins at seven down as well.
hot starts for Adam and Steven. Let's see what we can do in the back nine.